Let's look at some simple examples of rationalise the denominator. These increase in difficulty, but they're not going to be too difficult for us. We're going to be using the same technique that I looked at in the previous video. So effectively, we multiply each one of these examples by 1, and I choose how the 1 is going to look. So I choose the numerator denominator to be the third that I'm given in the denominator for each of the examples. So for this first one, 2 over root 5, I would multiply this by root 5 over root 5. And what's going to happen is I'm going to get 2 root 5 over root 5 times root 5, which is just 5. So I can write that as 2 fifths root 5. You can leave this in either version, okay? Both are exactly the same. Um, and perfectly interchangeable. Number 2, 3 over root 7, do it in a similar way, times top and bottom by root 7 this time. So I get 3 times root 7, so 3 root 7, over root 7 times root 7, which is just 7. So I get 3 sevenths root 7. Okay? And that is exactly the same as just 3 over root 7. Number 3, 8 over 3 root 2. Now, you could multiply top and bottom by 3 root 2, okay? Multiply it by 3 root 2 over 3 root 2. However, what's going to happen there is it's just going to introduce some cancellation. So, it's probably just easier to multiply top and bottom by root 2. That will do the job of getting rid of the third in the denominator. So, I have 8 times root 2, so 8 root 2 over root 2 times root 2 is just 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, so I have 8 sixths root 2, which I can simplify to 4 thirds root 2. I can do the last one in much the same way. I would multiply top and bottom by root 3 over root 3, and once again, I could have chosen to do 4 root 3 over 4 root 3, but it would just introduce more cancelling down, simplifying the fraction. So root 5 times root 3 is root 15, over 4 root 3 times root 3, which will be root 3 times root 3 is 3, so 4 3 is a 12. So I've got root 15 over 12, or 1 12th root 15. Okay? So that is how we can rationalise the denominator for these types of fraction. Okay? It's not really too difficult, it's just using the techniques that we've learned beforehand of simplifying certs.